Okay guys, we're back. That was a convenient place to stop because my camera died. Um, whenever I want to make these videos, it seems like I can only get like three or four videos done before I have to recharge. So, oh well. Um, okay, so back to our covers. I was going to show you um, what how I inked. Okay, as far as the cover, you want to ink around the whole piece. But on the inside, I inked around all of it, uh, each panel. On the back side, I just did the perimeter and, of course, that one piece on the cover. But the rest of them will just be the perimeter, except for the back cover. Um, because um, we'll be putting a piece of paper in there. So, um, okay. So now you could go ahead and attach your pieces together. Um, however, I have found, um, because last time I put it together, uh, it is easier to attach the papers if you leave the pieces separate because that way we can open this up and get good contact. So I am going to um, cut the pieces that we want to use for this panel and I will be back. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut out these pieces that I want to attach and the majority of these pieces are going to be uh, based upon my size of my folder. Um, I'm doing the the folder size, if you remember, we cut it at five and three quarters, and so I'm cutting the height at five and a half, and I'm doing the width at four and a quarter, regardless of how long the tab is. I'm not measuring that part. So, um, because we scored at four and a half, um, the, that's the page size that I'm going with, four and a half by five and three quarters. So these pieces are going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. Now every once in a while you will want to in, run into one that is this size because this was the shorter end of uh, the, the uh, full file folder and so what I've done is just measure across here it comes out like three and seven eighths and so I've decided to go ahead and just do it three and a half for that piece. So I am going to go ahead and glue these all on, including the cover piece, and I will probably speed this portion up because, uh, oh, and I have inked in black. I used black ink for this because, um, you know, the kit itself is has black around it. So just in keeping everything together. And, um, that's what I've done. So I've gone ahead and inked around all these pieces. I'm going to go ahead and apply them. Okay, so now we have our first panel finished. So we want to set that aside to dry and we will work on the next panel. So this side is a pocket, this side is a pocket. So we will be working on this side. So I believe these are all going to be, sorry, hit the camera. Um, yes, nine, yes, 
all four of these panels will be the same size and there will be nothing on this side. So this will be um, easy. So I'm going to cut those and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got these cut that I want to put here. Um, I'm going to do some corner rounding. Okay, so there we have our second panel done. Okay, this is where we will attach pocket one and pocket two. So, and then these will be glued together too. But we want to let this dry first and go on to the next panel. Okay, I've cut some more here for this panel. And um, just trying to use up some of the spare pieces. I, I need to ink around these. I've got this page and one of the background pages and a writing page. And then this is one of the cutoffs from one of the other pages. So I've rounded the corners. That's going to go on top of this. And I just want to put a little thumb hole here. Let's see if I can center that properly. There we go. So I am going to ink around those and glue those down.
So there's panel four. And there's panel five. Now on panel six, we have four and a quarter, four and a quarter, four and a quarter, four and a quarter. Okay, and then this one is three and a quarter. So this one will have five panels. Okay, so this is the last piece, the white rabbit, Ed ink the edges, Attach him to here. Throw in a little bit more ink here. Yeah. Okay. Come on, glue. There we go. It's one of the reasons I didn't put them together. It's just easier to make good contact when it's flat, even when it's folded um, just in half. It has a tendency to get bumpy. So, okay, so that is our last panel. And what we're going to do is let these get um, good and dry. These are not in order at all, but you see why it's a good thing that I numbered them. So, um, 
Yeah, so what we're going to do is let these dry, and then next time we will attach them together and begin the decorating process. This was the longest, most tedious process. Um, but yeah, so um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.